viewers of The Pioneer, how are you doing? I hope you're healthy and well. We continue our daily MAP report series consisting of the most up-to-date reports. In a moment, we will analyze the latest developments regarding the war with MAP. The front line is very active. The Ukrainian armed forces seems to be continuing their controlled withdrawal operations in order to build stronger defensive fortifications. Although Russian troops seem to be advancing in practice, this progress is costing the Russian armed forces dearly. Because during this advance, Russian troops are constantly being worn down by the Ukrainian army. Yes, this is a war of attrition. This is a war of attrition. We have already mentioned that the Ukrainian army is making a tactical retreat in order to build new defensive fortifications. This progress is largely underway. We also have a good news. The F-16 fighter jets to be delivered to the Ukrainian armed forces have reached the final stage. In the coming days, we may face a different frontline outlook. So what is the latest situation on the front line? Let's take a look at the developments together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. You can also support me and my team by using the super thanks button below the video. Thank you for your support. Let's start if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. Let's start with the latest situation on the Zaporizhia front line. For about a month, now we have seen the Russian armed forces attacking the western part of the village of Robotny. However, during these attacks, the Ukrainian armed forces largely held their positions. In fact, the Russian attacks here were not aimed at progress, because here the Ukrainian armed forces had built a very strong defense fortification since the first days of the dominated in the region. In addition, all the rotations were made for the defense of Avdiivka from other fronts, there was no change in the Ukrainian troops here. And therefore, the Russian army could not seize the initiative here despite all its attacks. According to the latest reports, the Russian army has stopped its attacks attempt here. We can consider this as a demolarization because Russian troops and Russian sources often shared intelligence reports that the Ukrainian defense here was weak. It was also claimed that the Russian intelligence had such an information. However, despite this, the failure of the Russian armed forces to make any gains here revealed that the line of intelligence reports were not true. Therefore, taking advantage of the demoralization of the Russian troops, Ukrainian troops managed to repel the Russian forces from the vicinity of Robotny. We can say that the initiative has passed back to the Ukrainian armed forces. On the other hand, the Ukrainian armed forces have resumed their offensive, which had been suspended here, on the Zaporizhia front line. According to the latest reports, there is an offensive attempt by the Ukrainian armed forces in the direction of Verbov. However, we cannot say for the moment that this is aimed at a full-scale advance. We think that it is more of an offensive to test the Russian forces. So far, there are no border changes in the Verbov direction. Let's continue with the artillery activity in the area. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted Ukrainian positions in Robotny, Malaya Shurbyanki, Stepov, Lupkov, and Pityakhatki. On the other hand, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted units of the Russian armed forces deployed in the direction of Nestoryanka, Kopani, Verbov, Marini, and Luhov. Let us continue by analyzing the latest developments on the Donetsk front line. According to the latest reports, on the Donetsk front line, units of the Russian armed forces continued their attacks on the Novomikhailov from the south and southeast. However, as we have already mentioned, there is a determined resistance of the Ukrainian armed forces. It seems that the Russian armed forces have not made any new gains in this region despite fierce attacks. On the other hand, in the western part of Marinka, the Russian armed forces managed to advance. Successes here will encourage the Russian army. We believe that the advances of the Russian armed forces here will certainly continue. With an attack on Gorogoyevka, a key settlement on the road to Kharkov, the most important logistics center of the Ukrainian armed forces. The Ukrainian armed forces should pay more attention to their defense here. Positions lost here can cause big problems, or they should consider carrying out MB activities in the areas left to the Russian forces. This will pave the way for the Russian army to suffer more losses. Troops of the Russian armed forces have reached a section of the M04 motorway southeast of the Permayovsky from the direction of Verbo. This road is important because Russian sources say that one of the ultimate goals of the Russian army is to reach Dnipro Oblast here too. We think that the Ukrainian armed forces should pay more attention to the defense line around the motorway. 
On the other hand, Russian troops seem to have seized the territory of the Winnie Yard Gardening community southeast of Avdiivka after the controlled withdrawal of the Ukrainian troops. This is located to the west of previously captured industrial zone. In addition, units of the Russian armed forces continued their offensives on the Kirk factories of Novi, Orchetino and Novokalino. The Ukrainian armed forces are defending their positions here. Let's talk about artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted Ukrainian positions in the direction of Permaevskops, Nevolsky, Krasnohorivka, Severny, and Donetsk. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted units of the Russian armed forces stationed in the Pitsky, Valyidny, Opidny, Lazovov, and Isser Mikhailivka directions. Now let's continue our report by analyzing the latest developments on the Bakhmut front line. According to the latest reports on the Bakhmut front line, the Russian armed forces continued their offensives near Klishchivka. We see that the Russian troops carried out attacks from the northeast of the village and along the hills from the northwest. The Ukrainian armed forces, as a result of the counteroffensive, managed to regain a number of previously lost positions near Hormov. Also in the hills in the Bogdanovka area, the Russian armed forces seem to be carrying to break through the Ukrainian defense and reach Kazovka Yar. However, the Ukrainian army continues to hold its positions there. On the other hand, the Ukrainian armed forces counterattacked southwest of Verkhny Kamenka and managed to advance. Although the Ukrainian army has captured some positions in recent days, we see that the Russian armed forces have seized the initiative here in recent days. There are also a number of movements on the Luhansk front line. According to the latest reports, in the Luhansk direction, Russian forces are seriously attacking Ukrainian troops near Terny. This can be seen as one of the key settlements on the left bank of the Zherbets River, from the Ukrainian groups it's fitting. The village is located less than 4 kilometers from the forward positions of the Russian armed forces. We think that the defense here should be also supported. What do you think? Do you think it is right for the Ukrainian army to try to build defense fortifications in the rear? Do you believe that the Russian troops can advance? How do you assess the current situation of the Ukrainian army? Tell us in the comments. I read and care about all your comments.